Well, hey, everybody. Here we are in lovely Round Rock, Texas, in Round Rock One in the Dell Building. And uh, I'm here to talk with Barton George about an uh, exciting project that he's, uh, he's launching uh, today, this week. No pun intended. It, 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 depend, it depends when you see this, but, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're going public about it. So why don't you, why don't you tell us what, what the project is, Barton? Sure. So it's Project Sputnik. Um, and then just to, it's an exploratory six-month project that's been made possible by an incubation fund that was set up here at Dell. So the idea is to develop a, a developer laptop based on our XPS 13, that's the real thin line uh, ultrabook that we have. You can almost shave with it. Exactly. Uh, and I have. Uh, and also uh, Ubuntu. So take the 12.04 and get it running on that and make a, a laptop that's targeted at developers. And, and what, what does it mean to be targeted at developers? Well, so it would be all the stuff they want and none of the stuff they don't. So the idea would be first to do a uh, do an install image that had just a, a real um, sort of lowest common denominator amount of packages that sort of tools. core foundation. Yeah, Strip, stripped down is what people yeah. used to say. No bloatware, as, as some might say. Yeah. Um, so you'd have that there. Uh, then also it would come with hardware enablement. So that's one of the big things with Linux and, and PCs is that. They oftentimes don't have all the drivers needed, and so it's a big hassle. Your your Wi-Fi doesn't work the way it's supposed to, or your your trackpad is screwy, or something like that. So that's the <clears throat> that's the first thing we're doing is working with Canonical, and I should say we're working very closely with Canonical to do this, is to make sure that all the all the drivers and the functionality are there. So that would be part of the the install, um, and then I'll I'll just talk about the the longer term vision. That would be the the basic, or not the longer term, the the near term vision, which is to then a well, longer term relative to a week. Yes, exactly, um, is the idea of creating profiles. So what it would be is you would have a, ma a software management framework on your, on your laptop that would then allow you to go out to GitHub and pull down profiles that you want. So if you wanted uh, the Ruby profile for developing in Ruby or, or Android or JavaScript, you could go and you could take those packages down and you could, you could put them on your system and use them. And, and then I, I think a nice thing about that is, is the, uh, more than just installing a package like through I, I'm kind of out of the Linux world, but through RPM or I'm sure there's yet another package. App get yum too. type stuff. Yeah, yeah, there you go. App get. That's what the kids like. But uh, it, the, the idea, if, if if I recall, is like you can you can sort of wire up and configure all these things to be in a, a ready to use developer environment as well. Yeah, exactly. And so yeah, you take it down, and then you could just as easily put it back. If all of a sudden Ruby is past A and you want to use Erlang, uh, you can flip that out. You know how these things go? They come and go every year, right? They they do. <laughs> so, uh, like, like, what's the reception you've gotten so far to this? So far, it's been pretty good. So we haven't been able to tell a lot of people because we wanted to keep it a little bit stealthy. Um, going forward, we're going to do it all out in the open, but at least just to, to get our sort of ducks in a row, we wanted to go and just uh, share it among a few number of people. Obviously, Canonical knows. But the, the one of the things is this is, and one of the reasons why we actually came up with this is we've been getting a lot of asks for this. Uh, I know you personally, you can tell the stories of how when people found out you're going to be a Dell, that they were saying, great, so when am I going to get a, a, a Linux laptop? Right. So when people, when we've told people about it, they get pretty excited. Um, so we're, we're real excited. And, and there's been some analyst interest. I think the, the, the few that we've told uh, ahead of time. And I think one of the things is that it's one of the responses we've gotten is we wouldn't have expected this from Dell, which is kind of what we're, what we're hoping. Um, the whole idea here is just to really give the de developers a better experience and learn more about what they what they want. Yeah, and, and, and I like the way you're running it in that it's, it's uh, well, despite it not being announced until now, but you know, I, I'm a firm believer in if you do a sort of an open innovation driven thing, you want to, you don't want to just go with an empty table, you want to start with something, you know, to kind of lay the foundation for it. But that's another nice part about the way, the way you're running it is having, uh, in that it's for developers who are very steeped in the open source world and the world of doing things openly, also, you know, you want to develop this in a very open fashion, right? And, and just get as much involvement and input and, and things like that possible. And I think even with, even with the profile stuff you have, there's a chance for people to submit their own profiles and, you know, for us to merge that into, you know, whatever, uh, whatever the officialness is. Yeah, the old Tom Sawyer thing, and that's what we're really hoping is that people will get excited and want to start building out more and more profiles for themselves. Uh, and then the where you can go to actually see this is on IdeaStorm. So by the time this video goes, we should have IdeaStorm up and running, and that's the way we'll be collecting feedback in the public of, about this. And we'll be giving out um, units to 
a bunch of uh, key influencers just to get their thoughts um, about this as well and, and hear how they're thinking about it. Yeah, and it, it'll, it'll be nice to get it in the hands of, of those influencers slash developers or whatever and just see how it works out. <laughs> get, yeah. get some actual field intelligence, if you will. And so, uh, uh, you know, I, I, are, are you thinking like, uh, what are we going to do with this long term? Or like, what are the possibilities we could have? Well, so if it's successful, there's di different ways it could be successful. And yeah, I want to stress right now, it's not a product right now. It's a it's an exploratory pilot. Um, one thing would be, if this is successful, we would expand it probably to a, offer another model. So this is the the XPS 13, which is four gigs. It's it's pretty lightweight. Um, it's, the great thing about it is it's literally lightweight, and you can take it everywhere. It's mobile. But there, we would offer a, a counterpart to that if it's successful, a, a Beauty and the Beast type of a lineup where we'd have a real big honking machine um, that people could do uh, more uh, heavyweight type developing on. Right. Um, so that would be one way we could expand it. The other thing would be. The vision is to really take this and and connect it back to the cloud, so that Sputnik becomes a, a launch pad for for cloud apps. The idea that uh, you would develop on a micro cloud in the on the laptop itself, you then push it out to a test environment, which you then push out to a uh, to a cloud. So you have a, a seamless connection of tools that that are that are all linked together in a very DevOps kind of a, a fashion, um, and then. If it's successful, then it becomes a real boy, right? In the in the, in the way of Pinocchio, and, and actually becomes a, a product that we can offer. So, as I say, it's it's early on. We're we're just seeing what the reception would be, um, and really trying to learn more about what developers want. Oh well, that sounds great. Well, uh, you know, I'm sure everyone's going to look forward to uh, hearing how it pans out if if they have interest in developer laptop stuff. So, thanks. Thank you.